Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Raptor 428 toy hauler. This beautiful triple axle toy hauler has two party decks in it, a 12 foot garage, and is just gorgeous inside and loaded with amenities. If you're looking at a high-end quality luxury toy hauler, this is one you certainly want to pay attention to. We're going to start off here in the main living area because even though you'll be having your toys and everything in the back, this is still where you'll be spending the majority of your time. And as you'll see, it's open with dual opposing slides, obviously because you have the toy hauler fifth wheel, huge ceiling heights here, and a beautiful center island. You have the solid surface countertops all the way throughout. You'll see it is lit, which gives that nice extra aesthetic piece there. So plenty of prep space. Uh, you'll also notice that you have the sink top cover, so you can utilize this too. It is cutting board quality if you want to use it as a cutting board. And when you take it off, that will reveal your double bowl undermount stainless steel sink with the high rise faucet here. That way it's super simple to wash and rinse dishes. If we take a look underneath, you'll see you have two full extension ball bearing drawers here. And underneath is your central vac to quickly clean your main living area. Underneath the sink itself, you'll notice they give you a trash can there, and you have additional space next to that for your cleaning chemicals. And then lastly, right over here, you will also notice the open space there, which is nice. It gives it an extra, you know, kind of, again, aesthetic piece. Normally, the islands are all closed in. If you want to put some knickknacks there, by all means, you can. Or, of course, you can load it with extra foodstuffs or maybe plates. If you need to plug anything in, you also have two electrical outlets right up front there so you can plug in toaster, blender, uh, really whatever else you need. And take a look right over here. This is a 18 cubic foot fridge freezer. Now one of my favorite things here is the fact that they went with a RV fridge. A lot of manufacturers are going to residential refrigerators and while I love them, this gives you the same space at 18 cubic foot and gives you the option to run off propane in case you don't have shore power or don't want to run the generator. So I like the fact it gives you the versatility and you still have all the space there. Moving in a little bit further, you see right over here you have the three burner cooktop. This is recessed with a glass cover here as well. So if you want to, you know, again, use this as prep space you can or you can fold it up just like this to access that burner. This kind of doubles as a backsplash even though there is a decorative one there, the glass is nice and easy to clean. The front burner is high output, and then you'll notice you also have an oven underneath in case you want to do some baking. Directly underneath the oven is an additional drawer. If we take a look up top, right here is your convection microwave oven. So if you prefer convection over conventional, you have that option here as well. Otherwise, you can always use it as just a plain microwave too. And then up above that, I like the fact they went with like this white frosted glass rather than the wood. Just helps break the look up a little bit. And you see you have additional storage right up there. Making our way right back here. This is the uh, bathroom. You have double access into here. I'll actually show you that when we go out into the garage in just a minute. And then we have a party deck off to the side here. But again, I'll show you that in a little bit. Let's finish up the uh, living area and then we'll head out there. So you will see right up top, you have storage going all the way across. It's not huge storage, but at least they did give you something there. Some cubby holes running right down here. I like this idea too. They put an electrical outlet as well as dual USB ports there. That way you have a place in which you can charge your electronics and it's not cluttering up your countertops. In this slide right here, you have a couple options. The standard is the way it is equipped as you see. This is the way I prefer it, uh, and that is having a theater seat with freestanding table. If you don't eat at a table a lot or you don't see the value in it, maybe you're gonna just hang out in the garage a lot, you can get four theater seats here instead. But the theater seats are extremely comfortable. Of course, they recline. You have cup holders right here, and then in the middle, you have a spot for your remotes. Right next to that, as I mentioned, is your uh, freestanding table and chairs. This gives you a spot to eat a meal, play cards if you want, you know, just a nice little extra seating area. You have like a leather on the seats, which I like as well, instead of a cloth, it's really easy to clean. 
and then underneath that you have additional storage. If you take a look at the windows here, one, you'll see that the windows basically go all the way to the top of the slide. So very large windows which let in a lot of natural light. You'll also notice you have the blackout roller shades on there. So that way, you know, if it's, uh, you know, you want to make it nice and dark in here, if you have people staying the night or whatever, you can just drop those down. Plus the roller shades are very easy to use. You'll notice LED lights throughout on top of the slide here, as well as all throughout the ceiling, which are great. Uh, you'll also see the max air fan right up here. So if you don't want to run the ducted AC, you can just turn on the max air fan, open up some windows there and get some great circulation. Now when you're sitting in the theater seating there or at the table, you want to watch some TV. You have the 50 inch TV right here. So large TVs, you're able to see it anywhere in this main living area. You have storage both above. Uh, uh, you, we have the glass doors here. I'll show you what's in there in just a second. It's a tiny storage, but not a, uh, not a lot there. But you will see you have good storage up above and it is backlit. Kind of give it a, a nice look there. You also see the sound bar underneath, so that way, you know, if you want to jam out to some music, you can do that. It is Bluetooth capable there as well, and you can control all your speaker zones on here too. Now underneath, you'll see your fuse panel is right here. They kind of tucked it away, which is nice. You also notice your Blu-ray player is tucked away in there. And then right here is your main control panel. So this is actually a really nice system. Uh, if we take a look, you'll see you can basically control everything here from your lights to your slides to your uh, double awnings on there, uh, your generator, you'll see it has the hours, as well as the fuel levels of both your generator and your fuel station. So that really is a nice system. Now if you take a look underneath that, you have a fireplace. Not only does this look great when it's on, but also folks, that is a space heater. It does help uh, heat it up a little bit in here. Right next to that, we'll open this up. You see you have, uh, as soon as you walk in, a nice area to hang coats, a couple extra shelves up top, you know, if you want to put uh, some gloves up there, something like that, you can certainly do so. Some storage here underneath. I would personally probably use this for shoes, but again, whatever you feel appropriate to put in there, by all means you can. So right over here is the entryway onto the side patio. Directly above, you'll notice you have storage there. And then underneath that, you see you have this accent lighting, which is pretty great. You also have a curtain, so you can close this off for additional privacy at night. Right over here, you'll see this model is equipped with a loft. There's a ladder in the garage, uh, but you can climb up there nice and easy. A light up there, a C duct, so you don't uh, sweat to death on a hot night. And there's also electrical out there to plug in any electronics. This is a sliding glass door here. You also have a screen you can close off in case you want to have some airflow. And then when we step out onto the party deck, you'll see it's held up by the cables. There's a rail system that goes around it, and folks, this is super easy to set up. Uh, the rail system basically ex uh, swings out. You'll see it has these casters on here, so it rolls nice and easily, and then it clips into place throughout. To undo those, you simply push down on it and then pull them right out. Very simple. Another thing I love about this side patio is check this out right over here. You have a TV outside. So that way, you know, if you want to throw on the game, watch some TV, set chairs right up here on the party deck, and you can do that nice and easily. You'll also see this door right here. So if you notice, when you open this up, currently it's heading out to nowhere. There is a set of stairs. Again, I have it stored in the garage, but you can hook the steps up right here. That way you can enter and exit off the side patio. The Raptor 428 has a 12-foot garage here. Uh, it can carry just under 3,000 pounds, so you know, feel free to load up with your ATVs or whatever else you want to throw in here. You'll also see right over here, this is your main entry door into the living area. It does have the nice glass panel in there, again, giving it that residential feel while you're on the living room side. Right here is the half bath. One of the things I really love about this floor plan is that they give you an entrance from both sides. So it's still a very usable half bath if you're in the living area or you can obviously access it here from the garage. Right in between is your foot flush lever toilet. That is a porcelain bowl. And then over next to that, you have the sink there with a little bit of storage underneath. Right out here to the side is washer dryer hookup. So if you do want a washer and dryer, you can have that installed there. Up above is one of your two vents, so you can uh, help the exhaust escape. 
And then as we move over to the window, uh, you'll, there are plenty of windows in here. They have the covers. One of the things I like that Raptor does, though, is they use a leather cover rather than a cloth. And it just, uh, again, you know, it's a little bit more heavy duty. Just gives that feel of luxury that you're looking for in a high-end toy hauler. If we take a look at the floor a second, one of the things you'll notice, take a look at this right here. You see how the floor is flush from the bathroom to the garage? That's because you have a insulated garage in here. A lot of manufacturers don't insulate the garage floors and that's when you'll see it drops down a couple inches. And the reason I really like that is because if you want to use this as a living area, by all means you can. You have heat ducted in here, you have AC ducted in here, and with that insulation, it will help maintain that temperature. You'll also notice you have a rug here, so you can roll that out to get that full residential uh, feel. You know, again, if you are using this more as a living space. Right here on the floor, you also see two sets of stairs. This one right here is for that side deck. The other one here is for the rear deck, but that way you can quickly and easily access those instead of having to come into the RV. You can just climb right up onto the party decks. We take a look right here in the back. You have the double rollover sofas. You'll notice right here, it does have a drop down center console with some cup holders. Cool thing about this, they both will roll over and this you will get one big queen bed here. As far as getting these up and out of the way for your toys, you again have a couple options. You can either roll it over and lift it up underneath this power queen bed right here, or you can put them up against the wall if you need the additional height. So you can kind of do it either way, whether you need the width or the height. But again, you do have two queen beds back here for excellent sleeping space. If we take a look right up top, uh, we'll see a couple things. You'll notice you have a TV front and center there. So that way if you are laying down or maybe just sitting here on the couch, you can watch TV. You'll also see the storage on both sides and you have speakers there up on the ceiling so you can sit right back here and rock out. If we start to head toward the back, couple things you'll notice. Look at the, uh, the D-rings on here. They're not even D-rings. They're, they're much heavier duty. It's actually integrated into the frame itself. You want to talk about you know uh, maximum tie-down strength. That right there is it, folks. And you have uh, six of these spread throughout. I'm sorry, eight of them rather. Right here, this is a three-season so, uh, three door. I really like this too instead of just a pull-down screen. You can't really pick it up on film, uh, but right here you have plastic kind of covering all this up so that way if it's raining or you don't want wind to come in, you can leave it just like it is. However, what you can also do is you can take it and you can slide this down. You can do that on the doors, you can do that on the sides, and then you just have the screen. That way you can get the airflow. And it is nice and easy to enter and exit. You can just open it right up like so and then come right on out onto the party deck here. You'll also see right here in the ramp, you have your beaver tail storage. So you can open that guy up, nice heavy duty grate, so you don't have to worry about that getting damaged when you're driving your toys up and over it. And then when we come out back here, this of course is the rear party deck. Uh, when we go outside, we'll see a little bit more that there are actually legs down here where you can stabilize this a little more. Currently, I just have it hanging from the cables, uh, but you can certainly make this very sturdy. You also, if you take a look right up top here, you'll see a couple cool things. Uh, you have LED lights right here, so if you want to light it up at night, you can do that. A backup camera, and that is a full actual camera, not just prep. This is a big RV, folks. You know, it's a little over 43 foot. You want to make sure you're able to see what's behind you. And then you have the awning up top there as well. The master bathroom also has two entrances, one right here which leads into the hallway down into your main living room, or the other one which is directly into the master bedroom. Right in between is your foot flush lever porcelain toilet, again that porcelain bowl is easy to clean. You'll also notice right up here on the door you have a towel bar which is pretty convenient. Right over here is the mirrored medicine cabinet, storage behind that. And look at the countertops, folks. Most manufacturers would have went to like your standard, uh, you know, T-Mold countertop here. But Raptor actually put in the beautiful solid surface just like they have in the kitchen to keep that seamless high-end look throughout. American Stonecast undermount sink here as well. And the faucet is even raised up a little bit, so that way you can easily get your hands underneath. You also have an electrical outlet over to the side so you can plug in curling iron, hair dryer, whatever else. And then you have additional storage underneath that. When we take a look over at the shower, I love the shower in here for a couple reasons. One, it's big. 
Far too often you have these really nice toy haulers and you get the tiny showers and it's just tough to use, not the case here. The other thing I love about it is the fact that it is a one piece residential style shower. So that means less chance for any kind of leaks. You know, you'll see there's not any seams in it, it's just one piece. You have a seat right here as well. You have plenty of shelving space throughout. And not only do you have a hand wand, but you actually have a shower bar here. So you can uh, uh, set the height of that hand wand and it has a little soap dish on there as well. Uh, as far as height, to give you an idea, I'm six foot. You can see I have a couple inches here. If you're really tall, you know, you're six four, something like that, you can stand here underneath the skylight, which will give you that added head height. When we step into the master bedroom itself, you right away you will notice the large king bed. That way you're not elbowing each other in the middle of the night, you have plenty of space to sprawl out. You have a couple different storage options on either side. The one side here, you see you have a, a nightstand with some storage underneath, as well as an electrical outlet there and additional storage up top. On the other side, you have the same top storage, but on the bottom instead, you have a shelf there with both an electrical outlet and dual USB ports, so you can still charge your electronics at night. Right in the very nose here, you have a mirror, which makes the bedroom look nice and big. Uh, you know, also, I guess if you wanna check yourself out while you're sleeping, you can certainly do that too. Right up here on the ceiling, you will notice the second AC, as well as speakers here in the bedroom. So if you wanna listen to music, you can do that. And then right over here, you see the nice large wardrobe. You can see that goes uh, for quite a ways there. It is quite deep, so you can store plenty of clothes there. TV right here in the center, so you can watch TV before bed. Large pull-out uh, full extension ball bearing drawers there. Then over to the side, you have this cubby hole. It is lit up. You have a window there to let in some natural light and then additional drawers underneath that. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at some of the outside features on the Raptor 428. So you'll notice the gorgeous painted front cap on here. It is cut back so that way you can have a little bit tighter maneuvering. LED lights on the front here as well in case you are hooking up at night. You'll also see a mirror there as well to help align the kingpin with your hitch. Speaking of the kingpin, this is a Rotaflex kingpin, which will help take a little bit of the bucking and chucking out of the towing experience. When we come underneath, we'll open up this compartment right here. You will see this one is equipped with the Cummins Onan 5500 watt generator. That way, if you're out playing with your toys, you don't have power, you can kick that guy on to power everything in the RV. Right over here, your two 30 pound propane tanks. And if you notice right underneath, you will see one of your six jacks. This one does have full hydraulic auto level, folks. Simply touch a button and the coach will level itself out for you. When we open this up, right here is your hydraulic fluid. You'll obviously want to make sure you have hydraulic fluid in there for everything to run. The pump is in there as well in case you have to do any kind of maintenance. Or if you need manual overrides, you would access this compartment as well. Moving over a little further, you have the pass-through here. It does have the covered hinge, so you don't have rust coming down. Slam latches, as you would expect. When we open it up, you'll see it is strut-supported here. When we take a look inside, you'll see it is a good size pass-through. Uh, right over here, I have taken this off. This is a cover for the in-command system. You have these normally. This is what you would see, and it just goes right over top. But I took it off to kind of show you. So you saw that computer system inside. This is the brains of the operation right here. You can see you have your fuses out here. Everything is color coordinated on the wires, which is great. And if you see this right here, if you ever have to manually move the slides or anything like that, if that uh, tablet inside isn't working or your awnings, you can use these and manually move those in and out. Also, you'll notice everything is labeled right here. So again, it makes troubleshooting quite simple. You also see you have a light in here, as you would expect, and TV hookups there with a mount. So if you wanna have a swing arm, you can do that and hook the TV up right there. Right outside here, you have an electrical outlet. Need to plug anything in outside, there you go. And then right underneath that is your black tank flush. If we back up a little bit and take a look up top, you will notice this one has not one, but two large power awnings. So you just touch a button, those will roll out for you. Uh, same thing to have them go back in, and you have LED lights underneath those. 
You'll also see frameless windows on this RV. The great thing about the frameless windows, not only do they look nicer, but also because the way they open, they tilt open at the top, you can have them open while it's raining, and the seal is tucked behind the glass, so it's not getting beat up as badly by the elements. There are several entrances into this RV, folks. You have two doors, as well as the party decks, which have stairs on them as well, so you can get in here four different ways. This one is the main entrance into the living area, and you will notice you have four foldable aluminum steps with the rubber grips. The great thing about aluminum is the fact that it doesn't rust. You'll also see you have the foldable grab handle right here as well to help aid you when entering or exiting the RV. Right here you see a little sticker. This is the extreme temperature package. Folks, if you're looking to take this into colder climates, you can certainly do that. It's all heated underneath, so as long as the furnace is running, it will help prevent your tanks from freezing up on you. You have outside speakers right here. You want to get the party going, you can definitely jam out to some music. And if you take a look underneath, you will see this is a triple axle, as you would expect when something comes in at over 16,000 uh, pounds. You have G-rated tires on there, so upgraded tires, which is definitely a great peace of mind, especially with something this heavy. Aluminum alloy wheels, which again, aren't going to rust on you. Equal flex suspension, that in conjunction with the kingpin, again, will give you a much better towing experience. We saw the side party deck here. This is kind of the outside again. This is where your steps would connect to. That is your door, so you can climb up in there. That would be door number two. And again, that would get you in that sliding door into the main living area. This is the door that leads into the garage. Same thing as the other entrance. You have four aluminum steps here with the foldable grab handle and a LED light up above so you can light it up at night. The other entrance into the garage would be right back here. Uh, now you'll see this has a little gap here. The reason, folks, is because I didn't use, this does have legs underneath. If you drop these legs down, you can level the tailgate out. I just use the cables for a quick and easy setup, so it's not 100% level, which is why you have this gap. But normally, this is your door. Again, you can put your steps right there to be able to climb on uh, up and onto the ramp. Another thing that I really like, and I know this is minor, but take a look at this. You'll actually see that you have levels on both sides, and as you can see, it is definitely not level. It should be you know, up right about there which again, then it helps, helps close that gap up. So uh, I like the fact they put the levels on there because it really makes everything line up nice and easy. And right on the back here, we did see the power awning, the backup camera, everything there when we were inside. When you come around to the off door side, there's definitely a lot here as well. You have the ladder. This is easy to drop down. You have two cotter pins, pull those out. The ladder pulls out and down. You can then climb up onto the fully walkable roof. Speaking of the roof, take a quick look up there. One of the things you will notice is how far down on the sidewall that roof comes. It is a TPO roof. I like the fact that it comes down like that for a couple reasons. One, it helps with water runoff. And two, if you ever do brush against anything like a tree branch, something like that, because it's a larger radius, it's less chance that it's going to tear open on you. So uh, that again is a nice feature to have. So we take a look right in the back, 50 amp power supply as you would certainly expect on a toy hauler. It does have a fuel pump station with a 30 gallon tank. There is the control for that. Of course, the fuel fill. And then right next to that is your uh, dispenser so you can fill up your toys. And right over here is your second tank. This is another 30 gallon tank. Uh, one of them is for your fill station. The other one is dedicated for the generator. So it is nice that you have uh, double fuel tanks for those individual needs. As we take a look at the front here on the off door side, you have a 12 gallon uh, gas electric water heater on here. That's again, another nice feature. A lot of times manufacturers will put a smaller water heater on there because it's just not something you normally notice until you have the RV and you run out of water really quickly. But having that 12 gallon heater is great. Right next to that, on this side of the pass through, you have a convenience center. Everything is right there for you. You see your city water connection, another black tank flush, everything for winterization, outside shower there, battery disconnect. Everything is located centrally right there. Then over here to the side, last couple things, you'll see rails here for your battery, so you can have a couple different batteries in there. And then your auto level is in this side panel as well. If you forget how to use it, right here on the door, they have a quick little instruction manual. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Keystone Raptor 428. If you're interested in this toy hauler and you'd like price and availability, simply click in the link in the description below. 
Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.